Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and welcome to Empire of Sin. This is a brand new Let's Play. It's episode number one. I'm really, really excited for this series coming up because this title from Romero Games, it's developed by Paradox Interactive, which is my favorite game studio, uh, at, at least their in-house dev studio. And so I've been aware of this title for a long time, and I, I've eagerly awaited this one. It's a genre that has quite a few titles in it, but I don't think any of them any of them come close to what this game is going to offer it's going to be fun it's open world it's sandbox it's got turn-based combat but it's got so many mechanics brought over from other genres that will make this a very fun title that has plenty of replayability if you've been living under a rock and have no idea what the topic is well the topic for this one it's prohibition era we're going to take on the role of an underground crime boss who is going to uh, lead a faction against other gangsters in the city of Chicago during that Prohibition era. Really looking forward to it. And you have 14 choices on what you're going to take as your crime boss. We're going to quickly look through what those 14 choices are, and then we'll get into the game. Sawing Mock. Hi there. Maggie Dyer. You and me. Dion O'Banion. Good choice. Salazar Reyna. Daniel McKee Jackson. Daniel McKee Action. Jackson. Good decision. Frank Reagan. Mabel Riley. Mabel nice Riley. La Reina de Chicago. Elvira Duarte. Good choice. Joseph Saltis. Good decision. Stephanie St. Clair. You can call me Al. The one, the only, Al Capone. So, what's the crack? Frankie Donovan. Hey, how you doing? And hello, Gena. Oui, chérie, I'm Goldie Garneau. Try and not to stare. Goldie Garneau. Now, some of these are non-fictional choices. Many of them are fictional. And we are going to take the fictional one before you. Goldie Garneau of the Fortune Tellers. Uh, her French background is the only reason why I am going for it. Because for me... Uh, yeah, I'm known as De Decathlon Gamer, but I do have a real surname, and that, that surname of mine, well, it is of French origins, even though my family is of English origins, uh, but that has to do with the Hundred Years' War, and uh, uh, occupying and leading a territory for some time during that war uh, that, the French, uh, that the English held on French territory. And so, yeah little French background for me and so we'll pick it up with Goldie Garneau she is the killer queen bring your enemies to their knees place your mark on your enemies once marked fire shot at each target each shot has improved critical chance and ignores defense she has empire bonuses speak easies earn five percent more and casinos upgrades cost five percent less also she has a diplomatic bonus room to grow threat generation in a shared neighborhood is minus 50 percent meaning she can grow up in a neighborhood and create a bit less of a threatening environment to the competitors that are present there we're also going to go for a near maximum experience a full 10 neighborhoods of what is possible and we're going to have as many enemy factions as we can have as in all of them all 14 crime bosses will be active in this game which means you're going to have more than one crime boss in a neighborhood we are going to have some turf wars difficulty wise though well we're new to the game let's go ahead and take the neutral which is lieutenant Miss Garno, it's great to see you. Sal, mon ami, it's Goldie. It's been a long day, and it is far from over. To my racket, please. Uh, are you on stage tonight, Goldie? You got time to change? Because, uh, if you don't mind my saying, your dress has blood on it. You should keep your eyes on the road and not my M line. But you don't have a M. Oh, never mind. I had a disagreeable encounter with a business partner, but they see things my way now. 
Entertainment sounds like a cutthroat business. You don't know half of it. Well, you probably know all of it. How many entertainers are in your taxi each day? I do like to get to know people. Do you wonder if you know too much, Sal? It's hard to keep a secret if someone else wants it. Ah, old Sal gets on with everyone. But I can't really say I know much about you at all, Goldie. That's for your own good. Less to share under duress. What do you know? I know you're a proud Quebecois from Montreal. That you love to sing and perform all over Chicago. And in the middle of it all, you find the time to explore other underground business interests. Beyond that... Hmm. It sounds like you know plenty. There's a long road between Chicago and Montreal. You still have people there? That road has been traveled. The past, je fish. Leave it where it is. I can't go against the current. I wish I had that freedom sometimes, Goldie. It takes bravery to let things go. Do you think yourself brave, Sal? Where would I go? My people are here. They will learn to live without you. You cannot be so sentimental. You may be right. My sister owes money to a crew for some liquor. She and her husband set up a casino, but the place burned down before it opened. Now these guys want their money back at twice the rate. I think the crew stole back the liquor she bought and burned the place themselves. But I can't do nothing. Your sister? You two are close? Of course. She's my sister. I can take care of it for you, Sal. Put these swindlers out of business. You do that for me? What would I have to do for you? Someone may tell you a secret that I need to know. Promise you will share it. Deal, Goldie. Everyone has secrets. I'm sure I'll pick up a couple. Here's a little money, too. In case it costs you. Oh, Sal! Usually the passenger pays the driver. <laughs> Drop me near the depot on the corner. See you again, Sal! In Empire of Sin, combat is turn-based. The queue of characters waiting to take their turn is above, and the turn order is decided by a character's initiative stat. If enemies are allied with a boss, that boss is also shown under their portrait. Alright, so we're going to quickly play through the base tutorial just so you can see how good it is. But we're going to play the, the game. The action bar is below. We won't combat, spend too long on this, and then we'll an turn off the tutorial the partway bar. through. Some actions require a target. It's your turn, so fire a shot if you've got a target. Choose a. All right, so we're set up for our very first target here. <coughs> Beat Packer Guard. Not a very cool. good shot on that one. We didn't do a whole lot of damage. It's also Each got us completely out points, in the open. Or AP. All right. Well, two shots should be enough to bring this guy down, and it's better to have him down <laughs> than shot. for me to take cover that I can't actually take against this individual. So there you go, he's down. And now we're down to just one enemy who's completely out of position. Using cover is vital to your survival. Cover is provided by the environment. Walls or half cover, represented by a... All right, so cover or partial cover, uh, 
we certainly want to take cover. We have a body right here, so we actually can't occupy that space. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our... Maybe I should actually just go aggressive. This guy is out the open. I'm going. Yeah, there you go. Negative oh, percent chance. Oh, what a shot! Right out in the open. All right. Mm -hmm. Now we can fall back, take cover. Fifty-eight percent chance of a hit here. Which we land it down to eleven health. I like that you get the numerical value and the representative. Now we have nothing left in our revolver, so we're gonna have to reload. Magnifique! But I still have one action left for the turn. And if we get a hit, he's oh, God. Oh. You enjoyed the show? When you win a racket, you have several options. Let's take this place over and make and let's make this a speakeasy. Taking a place over costs less than buying it outright. And it's okay. free to keep the racket type the same. Okay. Now that's this fine. racket's yours, and that's how it's done. You want something? Take it. You're gonna need some guards to keep your speakeasy safe. So open up the racket screen. You got four different ways you can class up the joint, starting with security. The information panel to the you can rush the upgrade by selecting the rush button. Go ahead and do that now. Since you got a stage, get yourself a band. Upgrading ambience improves your draw. Higher draw, go ahead and rush the band too. I'm sure they're used to. That's what I'm talking and about. Looks I love great. how you actually get now, the visual get upgrades. Here. You There's got the other band. work to do. All right, select the door and exit. That's it already. First mission, first speakeasy is ours. The gunfire attracted some of the local criminal talent and they're looking for work. As your empire grows, you'll gain access to bigger and better hired guns too. All right, Maria Rodriguez. No money up front, but she's gonna take 2%. Gracias. Notice that your crew members have a take, their price for working with you. The take is based on a percentage of your total earnings. In general, gangsters range from professional hitmen to shockingly wayward criminals. They have opinions about the people they work with. And you'll find gangsters looking for work out in the world and in the black book. Now, hire your second crew member. I am the for him. Okay, we want to create a squad. Now you got yourself a squad. Just in time, too. Your new speakeasy isn't going to last long without alcohol. It's the resource that makes your world go round. Just so happens Ronnie O'Neill's got a brewery close by. Let's take it over. Zoom out to the world map to see where it is. Love that you go zoom to get this. So we're going to head it around the corner to this brewery. You can actually move on the map so you don't have to be zoomed in for it but you certainly can zoom back in I'm going as you want really like that feature certainly because it does have that true open world feel to it when you do that who's that what? certainly coming for you certainly The meat packers were expecting you. Hopefully, they've also expected their funerals. All right. So we do have public. We gotta watch out for them. But we've got just two enemy guards outside anyway. Goldie gets the first turn. This guy is nearly dead. 68%, but 73 if we hit the other one. Uh, and we're all gonna get turns first. So let's go ahead and take the higher percentage. Missed that second one. That's not a good shot. Okay, Hugh Miller. He's got a shotgun. 35% and no chance on that one. That's rough. 
Uh, I don't like those odds. I really don't like those odds. Cancel here. That's gonna use one. Move out. Oh, I thought that was only one action. He must only have one action. 36% chance on the kill over here. Let's go ahead and take that one. Oh my goodness. Moving in. Well, at least that was a miss. Alright, Goldie. 68. Finish this guy, will ya? Okay, 58. Decent enough odds between the three of us. Somebody should be able to bring him down. Huh? Are you out of range or something? No, nope, there we go. Oh, nice hit. You enjoyed the show. Alright, so as we make our way through this tutorial, uh, these first couple of the black missions that we have, now that you're in the shop window, it's uh, time a, to get a little background of myself entering Check this one. And of any a small YouTube shop, channel, right but window, before that, if you I actually spent shop, 10 years uh, as a history teacher. So, combined with the gameplay, there will be the occasional history lesson. It's gonna happen. No doubt about it. Uh, we will talk about what this Prohibition era is, how it came about, what it was about, some of the characters involved over the course of the time. It, it's it's going to be mostly about the gameplay, uh, but some of you may find it interesting to know a little bit more about what is a speakeasy? What is Prohibition? Why do we have this organized crime all of a sudden in Chicago in 1920? Now, take over Ronnie's brewery to let him know who's boss. Certainement. You need to move in. rolling, baby! Breweries are well guarded, and this... Alright, so we come in with the advantage. Uh, you can see that we're still carrying the damage that Hugh Miller took outside. So, always good to be aware that that is going to be a thing. That's a civilian. Okay, we have a couple more guards over here. Certainly could possibly be a fourth, but I, I definitely see three in the area. 93% kill. Yeah, no problem there. Happy to do that one. And Goldie still has another chance to fire. Don't think she's going to hit... Oh, 83% chance is not bad, but... I'd like, I'd like to pick up some cover, and that's Certainly. a good place to get it. Okay, Hugh, Understood. that's good cover right over there, though it does open us to uh, what's in front of us slightly. 10% chance, that's not good. We could hunker down, or we could go into overwatch if they try to advance into our region. So let's go ahead and use the overwatch. And then Maria Rodriguez is not currently undercover. She's standing nearby to some barrels, but just nearby. I could. That's uh, that's going to use both action points. You can see the inner action point boundary right here, that white boundary. So I think we're probably better off just taking Understood. partial cover here. And let's see, what can she do? 46% chance, and if she gets him, he's he's dead. Uh, we've already got one in Overwatch. I like those odds just enough. Oh. What the fuck? Assholes. She should have hit at least one of those, if not two. Oh, he missed as well. Wow, you guys. Wow. Just wow. Well, they are beginners. They're not so organized in their organized crime just yet. 88% Goldie Not one for a lot of damage <laughs> what a shot. But she'll have her advantages where we need them 25% or 15 Hmm 
we uh, overwatch again. Okay, we already know that he's here, so I like opening it up a little more this direction. Meanwhile, much better. 50% or 51% and this one would definitely die. Oh, 24%, not good actually. Hmm. Or we can overwatch as well. Any movement from either one of them. Kill. Uh, retreated. Oh, this guy walked right into it though. There you go. Yeah, dead and dead. We might not be able to hit him, but if he comes running at us, he's dead, and that's exactly what happened. Alright, we're gonna have to probably chase down this meat packer here. There you oh, go. God. Come out from behind. You enjoyed oh. the show. Final. Take this racket over too. It's free to set up a racket of the same type you took over. It'll cost you to re-outfit a racket as something else. Select brewery. Enterprise repository. Goldie gone no. You've been taking my rackets. And I ain't too fucking happy about it. I'm not letting you off easy, Goldie. You know where to find me when you decide you want to talk face to face. All right, Ronnie O'Neill has step outside the brewery. Decided he wants to uh, have a little face to face with us. So let's see, where are the doors? That's not the doors. There's the door right there. Mm -hmm. And we exit. Sit downs with another boss a serious business. They usually take place in a boss's racket, but they can take place in safe houses too. Zoom out to the world map to find Ronnie's safe house. On it. All right. Right over where we were at the start of this thing. No sign of anybody outside. Certainly. Go ahead and begin the sit down. Have ourselves a little You chat. shook things up on my side of town, Goldie. I don't take kindly to that. Oh, scan le pompon, Ronnie. You are too worked up. Think of your art. Why not stick to what you know? You're better off as a singer. Racketeering's a man's business. Ronnie, mon ami. I have far more friends than you in this town. Tell you what, kiddo. I got a deal for you. Just cause I like you. You give me back my rackets, and maybe I don't break that pretty face of yours. Oh, I am embarrassed for you, Ronnie. You had your time with them. They are mine now. Have it your way, sweetie. Guards, show Goldie to her final show. Bonsoir, Ronnie. You were lucky enough to meet me before meeting your maker. This is a boss battle, in the literal sense. <laughs> to win at this game, you need to be the last one standing. Take Ronnie out, and his empire is all yours. Alright, boss battle it is. Okay, so we got Ronnie way back here. We got a meat packer right there. And oh, there you go. There's two more inside. So covering this door is going to be important. Uh, I'm going to use Ronnie's going to go second. Uh, I'm going to use Overwatch. Oh gosh, do we have to? I gotta cover. All 
Alright. We'll cover this direction. Oh, nice. Ronnie steps right into it. Hugh <laughs> Miller. We gotta take this guy out. And we're definitely gonna need to move up. I would take both actions. 65%. Fifty-four, fifty-four. That's gonna take everything to move up. Entendido. We could potentially finish this guy off. We're gonna try it, and we do. Okay, he's dead. I'm right, glad that one of them is firing Got from him. the other room and not venturing forward. Same with this one. He's taking his shots from that room. That's really good for me. Now, I don't know if Goldie's in exactly the best position here, except that Ronnie's right there. We could really do some damage to these guys, but I do not want to lose Goldie. do not want to risk Goldie, so I think we could retreat. Certainly. Safely back to here. And then overwatch whoever tries to come through first. Got him. And that's so Ronnie again. Looks like he's got some sort of knife. Ninety percent, that's not much damage. That's not much damage. How is this 47% from this close? She's just not very accurate. <laughs> I love how these two are very cautiously coming forward. That's good for me. Ronnie is not going to be dead yet. But so far, we are gaining the upper hand in this fight. Because Ronnie's nearly down. His two remaining henchmen are out and that really didn't hurt Hugh very much at all. Point blank. Down to nothing. Let's finish him off. Oh come on, you miss all three what shots the from fuck? Yes. Exactly. You said it, Maria. You said it. You're shooting like a stormtrooper. Actually, if anybody's watched Mandalorian, have you noticed the stormtroopers actually shoot a little bit better? All right, Ronnie's down. He's bleeding out. We gotta reload. Magnifique! fine I just I don't like our odds of getting a hit but if we do it's gonna do some serious damage nice Hugh well done buddy Goldie takes a hit oh she takes two hits 58%. Decent enough chance. Got him. Check him out. Alright, down to just one. Not sure how you're supposed to hit this one from here, but... Alright, Hugh. Let's overwatch this again, because that worked very well for us. Okay, you're going to take your limited chance. Got one hit in, finally. Six of those attempts. One finally landed. Oh, Hugh! You missed, buddy. You missed. 
but this should be a no-brainer. One more shot. Oh, the odds went down on that second shot, surprisingly. Usually the second shot would go up. Forty-five percent. That was a miss too. I might have, might have uh, wanted to go for melee there. Twenty-six percent. She still can't shoot. She got him on the third and final uh -oh. attempt. That brought him down. Now, this thing's still not over yet because somebody's still breathing. Let's uh, execute him. Search him off, Goldie. <laughs> Tasks all yours. <laughs> you enjoy there it is. We got victory. Uh, FBI, not too happy. Prohibition Bureau, not too happy. And Chicago Police, yeah, not too happy either. Oh, ho, ho. hello, hello. Nice new weapon available to us. That is exciting. And faction eliminated. Just like that, we are down to 12 enemy factions. That helps. That helps because that, that divides the turf up almost equally to neighborhoods. Congratulations! You got your first safe house. Defend it at all costs. Your safe house gives you both defensive and offensive benefits. All right, so there there is more tutorial from here, uh, but it's the ins and outs of the game world, of the menus. I, I don't need that. I, I've gone through. I've taken it. I know what to do from here. Uh, but that is going to do it for this introductory episode. I'm going to turn the tutorial off going forward, and we're going to start enjoying the game in future episodes. In order for this series to make a long play, it's going to require a little bit of help from you. I have a small channel. I need help with YouTube's algorithm. And to help, it's that like button. So if you scroll down, click that like button. And if you really liked it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button too. But for this one, a little click of that like button. No harm to you, nothing new pops up, but it really helps this series get going. And if you like this and you want to see more of it, that's what it's going to take. I'm Decathlon Gabriel. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there, and bye for now.